G'day fellas. So in this video I'm going to have a look at an old idea which is firing a air gun pellet from a centerfire rifle using only a shotgun primer as the propellant. So to prepare the case what you want to do is drill out the primer hole with a 1564 drill bit and then follow that up with a 2564 drill bit just to give a camfered edge to the end of the hole. That's to accommodate the rim of the shotgun primer. And then I finish off the hole with a file in a drill. Set to reverse so it doesn't dig in. And what you should have ended up with is a hole which the primer will snap into and won't fall out. And the pellet will fit snugly inside the neck of the case. So that's a 2506 case to fire a 25 caliber pellet. But I'm also going to test the 357 pellet in a 357 Magnum, a 22 caliber pellet in the 222 Remington, a 20 caliber pellet in the 204 Ruger, and that left me to track down some character with a 17 Remington to finish off the set. So in this video I'm just going to look at some facts and figures of the various cartridges and see what performance I can get out of them. Firstly by running it through the chronograph and then into some ballistic gel. I'll leave practical use end hunting with them for part two. So don't worry about the numbers so much now. I'll table it all up later. But one thing of interest was the 17 which showed an unexpectedly low velocity. And what became evident was the Prometheus pellets that I used in it were actually breaking apart in the barrel and the velocity was only being measured off that steel core. So to try and explain the reasoning behind that let's look at what we're trying to propel these pellets with. So the explosive component of Primus is lead stiffnate which is a lead salt of stiphnic acid, stiphnic acid sorry which is closely related to picric acid which is a more powerful explosive than TNT which is probably the most well-known explosive. So that's where primers fit into the explosive family tree. So we're trying to use a high explosive as a propellant which would mean very high pressures but only for a short duration which was enough to break these pellets apart. Anyway, let's have a look at penetration of the various calibers by firing it into the ballistic gel. So there wasn't a whole lot of difference with the penetration. <laughs> the 17 penetrated the furthest, <laughs> with the other three not far behind. The permanent cavity stretched well beyond the um, actual pellet. The elasticity of the gel tended to pull the pellets back. All this will be tabled up at the end of this video. So I haven't looked at the 357 Magnum yet. And that's because I couldn't load that up in the field. I needed to use the reloading press to press the pellet down into the 357 case. And even though the 357 left the muzzle at a respectable velocity, it did show some instability in the air when filmed on the high speed camera which wasn't evident with the smaller calibers so this is the 2506 for comparison so now for the results the 17 had the highest velocity when firing the lead pellets but also their lowest energy I couldn't get great performance out of the 204 which was surpassed by the 222 in both velocity and energy. Though the small rifle primer in the 222 had a very low velocity and low energy, it was inconsistent. Sometimes it wouldn't come out of the barrel. The 2506 had a respectable velocity and energy when using the shotgun primer, but using the large rifle primers actually showed the standard primer to have a higher velocity than the Magnum primer. So while it may ignite better, it doesn't propel better. The 357 
firing at 310 feet per second. I didn't expect it to go anywhere near that, to be honest. So, it's quite fun to shoot that. Anyway, there's a lot more that could be said or tested, such as case volume, um, ambient temperature, uh, filling the case full of lead to provide a minimum of space in the case. But hopefully I haven't bored you already, so I'll leave it at that. But before you all run off, I want you to do something for me. And that's to head on over to Steve Lee's channel and thank him for lending me the 17 Remington, as this video wouldn't have been complete without it. So that's a big thanks to him. In the next video in this series, I'll look at the hunting video with the 2506 firing the 25 caliber pellets with the shotgun primer. So look out for that anyway. Catch you there.